EVs or if you like electric cars are the savior of the planet the way to go for a green world but are they really green well the answer is it is complicated so let us not get into that today but the question is if you are in Kenya should you be worried about the electric car craze in the world right now the answer is a cool yes and no so let's start with a yes now understanding if you should be worried or not means that you need to understand the Kenyan car market and what we call new cars in our market are averagely five-year-old cars or what Kenyans call brand new second hand yeah. okay since then we know that the average new car in the country is five years old let's talk about the worry then what cars do majority of Kenyans drive on the road Japanese cars and Korean cars that account for more than 90% of the car inputs into the country so are these two markets going electric simple answer is no they are not going electric but with this huge investment in gasoline electric hybrids so the cars with both the fossil fuel and the engine and electric motor or generator it has big reasons to proceed slowly so that is why Kenyans should not be worried but they are not entirely out of the question because these two markets boast of the Nissan Leaf, which over a decade ago became a darling of the world as a mass-produced car that ran on entirely batteries that sold over 500,000 units. That's a lot of units. So generally, you might look at the electric cars crazy in the world right now and call it a mere ripple, but it's not. Because if electric cars make up less than 3% of the global sales, majority of the potential buyers in the world are looking at these high costs, limited range and long charging times as the only reason why turning a profit on the cars, with the exception of some luxury models, isn't easy. But this is bound to change really fast because now more than ever, the push for electricity and electric cars is being led by governments as opposed to the car markets or markets themselves. Now, this is why as a Kenyan, you should be worried. Take an example of the UK government that is poised to bring forward its ban on new fossil fuel vehicles from 2040 to 2030. Now, to help speed up the rollout of electric vehicles across the British roads, you see, Kenya might not be a major market, yeah, that's it, for new Japanese cars, but the UK and Europe hold a significant share of the cars that Japan exports into the market, meaning Japan and Korea will be forced to go electric. In fact, it's been even made worse because it looks as if China is already deliberate with its electric shift with EV sales continuing to surge. Now, Chinese brands are dominating the electric vehicle market, boasting an 80% share in the first quarter of 2021. Now, in May 2021 alone, sales of plug-in EVs accounted for 12% of all the car sales in China. So it means if China decides to pass a law on EVs, the rest of the markets that export into the Chinese market will be forced to go electric soon rather than later. And that's why Kenya will be caught off guard because we are not ready. She wasn't ready. Ask anybody. Now that's a point of concern. So the question is, how far is the shift? Not far, indeed. But no one knows in particular how far it's going to be. Now, Toyota did not release its first battery electric vehicle on the consumer market until early 2020. And then only in China. Honda is relying on GM to produce electric vehicles for the U.S. market. Now, the company is essentially the go-to for the entire Japanese auto industry and largely Kenya. It owns the Haitsu and in recent years has entered into partnerships for developing electric vehicles, including hybrids. Now, with three smaller automakers, Subaru, Suzuki and Mazda. Guess what? If you, if you look at that, Subaru, Mazda and Suzuki, those are the cars that come into the country. Cars that are for the ordinary Kenyans. Now, for Japan's automakers, they are riding on the new national policy that is pushing for carbon neutrality by 2050. So meaning, unless their overseas export markets demand fully electric before 2050, you are safe, maybe until 2055, if you want a fully new electric Japanese car. But Nissan has already said that by 2030, all key market vehicles will be fully electric. See? They are already reading into the shift, which means that as early as 2030, if you want a new Nissan car, you have to get an electric car. 
In January this year, General Motors became the first major automaker to declare that it would eliminate all tailpipe emissions from its cars, vowing to do so by 2035. This year, as well, Volvo moved to outdo its larger competitors by pledging to go electric only by 2030. So you see, if you want a new five-year-old Volvo in 2035, it has to be electric. If you want a GM car by 2035, it's going to be electric, whether you like it or not. So the question being, is Kenya ready? Answer, no. First electric story in Kenya came in 2019 from a taxi company called Nopia, running cars with just a range weight of 150 kilometers. Jeez, compare that with Tesla's 500 to 600 kilometer range. You see, smaller companies in the country are also popping up, promising to offer conversions from fossil fuel engines to electric motors. But the second hand market, if you like, for the car batteries or motors, have questionable battery range with the elephant in the room being yes you have an electric car but how many charging points are there in the country like five so much this with the cost of power in the country and certainly running an electric car now in kenya becomes a serious logistical and cost headache now the move to electric cars is no longer a sentimental or preference conversion anymore or conversation it's not the world is moving fast to electric, and in fact, the conversation is no longer about whether EVs are better driving cars or not. They are better, and in a million different ways in terms of driving experience than the fossil combustion cars. You see, in 2020, when overall car sales dropped by a fifth, EV sales jumped by 43%, which is a clear indication that majority of people are now considering electric cars. Now, the worry there is that when this shift happens, are we going to be caught off guard in the country? Now, with UBS predicting that the all cars in the world are going to be electric by 2045, I do not think that we are ever going to be ready if we do not begin the shift right, begin the shift right now. So unless we see Rubies and Shell and Total Energy start installing charging points at their gas stations right now as they are ready, as they ready themselves for the shift, we are in shift for lack of a better word, and that's a true fact. I know there might be critics looking at this and saying, no, we are not ready yet. Yes, you might be right for now. But then again, let me ask you a question. The internet, how did it grow in the 90s in the, to the early 2000s? Do you remember the shift or any major transition? Of course, no, you don't. Now, with the current push being skyrocketing international fuel prices, the growth of EVs is not far away from being compared to the growth of the internet. Yes, we should be worried.